What's going on YouTube? We got a, another video for you guys today. I'm doing just today about audio video equipment on in my home theater setup in my living room and I'll show you guys what a little setup into my basement as well. So I did one of this uh, footage probably like a year and a half ago and since then I did upgrade some equipment so giving you a little update what I got going on my setup. I am running uh, 5.2.4 setup so the 0.4 dim meaning full, full height channels for Dolby Atmos so Atmos speakers are up here these are all my speakers are uh, from a company called SVS based out of Ohio these are the prime elevation left height right height and as you could see those are angled towards the listening area fantastic design and, and, and a great sound coming out of those little speakers as well highly recommend it um, this right here is for surround and that back there is for the surround back left and right I'll probably those are the SVS, SVS prime satellites but I'll probably upgrade those to elevations and move those to down right below right above that um, light switch in the middle to run 7.2.4 well, Christmas decoration for the holidays and here is the surround left and all the speak wires on the back are either ran through the crown molding or these uh, I got these PVC tubes from Home Depot to run the wires there if you married and have kids yeah, visual effect is important uh, since the wife's got to be <laughs> you know uh, be pleased as well so there was a speaker wire sitting in there. I do have a little acoustic panel, one there, one there. Uh, I would like to get, would have preferred to be bigger, but there was a 12 inch cubes. I got four running on each side just for the tower speakers. Uh, start with the TV. That's the Samsung UN 65 inch KS8500. I upgraded to this 4K TV probably uh what um a little bit over a year ago uh i've been a big samsung fan for for many many years um this, that's probably one of the best ones uh, uh, so far uh, i was thinking about the oled but oled uh last year was the price was still very high the 65 inch i was looking at was probably like 3500 so and now since an lg is not the only player in oled game the price has dropped a lot this year and it will probably continue to do so. I might think about an OLED display maybe next year uh, after Thanksgiving, but we'll see. All right, so here is my SPS uh, Prime Center. Um, most of you know the uh, center channel is probably one of the most important speakers in your setup. And for under $400, uh, this is probably one of the best out there fantastic sound um, and it's kind of dark in my room but I had to have those little two foam cushions to give a little height and it's angled towards the listening um, ear level towards the couch I sit at SVS tower prime towers another one here and I got ISO acoustic speaker stand to give it a little more height and to uh, minimize the vibration so that speaker I mean the tweeter is hitting right about my ear level on my listening area and I did try the Klipsch uh, reference um, series and I, I, for the $500 price range and I actually found those speakers to be a little bit too bright so I returned nothing wrong with them um, I you know most of the uh, setups are with Klipsch brand but uh, to me it was just a little bit too bright for me here is the SVS SB2000 sub it's a 12 inch driver and it's a seal box my first time trying the seal box and if you could see also down here it's got a little rubber feet those are called SVS sound pass sub isolations it does help dramatically with the um, rattling on the floor and and the walls it's highly recommended 12 inch driver there 
another one here. I would have preferred the PV2000, which are much bigger, but as you can see, my space is very limited, so I went with the seal sub. And I do find that uh, for music, it is actually much uh, tighter and cleaner for music. I think for movies, these subs are um, nothing wrong with it. I think just to my ears, that is lacking that little thump uh, on those, um, you know, blowout scenes and whatnot. But overall, extremely, extremely happy. And I am running dual for the reason being that, you know, when you just run one, you will have empty spots in the room, but with running dual subs, you don't get any empty spots and much deeper and cleaner base. These subs are um, five, rated at 500 RMS, 1100 peak power, and it's pretty small. Uh, it's about 15 inches square, so excellent product. And all my speakers are SVS, not because <laughs> uh, uh, any particular reason, but I think they should make uh, great products and their customer service is fantastic. And you could buy these, and if you're not happy with them, you could return it with that within 45 days without no questions asked. So here is my Xbox One X. I don't game much, but um, I bought it to try the 4K gaming, and I'm fairly impressed with it. Very happy. PS4. My Samsung cable box. This is the Outlaw Monoblock Model 2200, driving three in my fronts, left, right, and center. 200 watts per each um, amplifier. I, I went with the separates because I noticed some clipping on uh, with my old receiver. So obviously, most refers power ra uh, rating is only for driving two channels and. If you won't hear real what your speakers are capable of, uh, unless you go really high end receivers, that uh, you need some uh, power amplifier to drive the speakers. I'm very happy with these. Up top is the Samsung, the first generation 4K player UBD K8500. Uh, I did the job, I mean, that was the only one available when then 4K started coming out. Uh, it did its job, but now I'm just using that for streaming and I've upgraded to Oppo uh, UDP203. I got this about six, seven months ago. It's probably one of the best one in the market. Uh, build quality is excellent. The, uh, audio and video is fantastic out of this device. I did try the uh, Panasonic model, the UMP, I think, 900. But I didn't like the build quality and since uh, an audio on this for actually listening to CDs uh, with, with to my ears it was a little bit better. So settled on this and Panasonic, what's the model number here? This is the M5300PM power conditioner. Since I'm not using the AC anymore that it's continuously running, pushing through either 118 to 120 volts continuously, which is fantastic for my equipment. <clears throat> Down here is the Outlaw 5000. Um, amplifier, amplifier, 120 watts uh, continuous power. It's driving my Atmos speakers and just one of the surround sound. And this is my receiver. Then on AVR, what is this model? Um, X4300H. Um, since the new model came out, I think it's called 4400. These were, when well, last time I checked about a month ago, they were on clearance for like $799. So this, that's like half the price what I paid for. So if you guys are looking for a new receiver that's got uh, pre outs uh, for the extra amplification, this is a great, great receiver. On top of that is the AC Infinity Aircom S8. And then I have another one back there, S6, for the Outlaw. Uh, because I don't have that much space between these racks, I needed something that's going to cool the uh, AVR. So this unit, what it does is sucks the hot air when it hits 88 degrees and pushes towards the back and it never goes actually beyond 50% power. 
And they do have the turntable here. This is the Audio Technica LP12120. Some of the vinyl collection, most of them are from my high school days in the 80s. And since I do do a lot of two channel listening through the vinyl or uh, CD through my elbow, uh, that's why I decided to go with the extra power on the with the receiver. This rack contains all my DVDs, CDs, mostly CDs, some video games. Controllers, my first generation uh, Apple TV, which generally gets used. And my Harmony One remote that controls everything. I never need to upgrade to another remote because that's been doing its job. All right. All right, so I have a track playing right now on uh, uh, streaming through uh, Tidal right now, and just wanted to show you guys the amount of air this uh, pushes out. This is my small setup in my basement. I'm running 5.2 channel setup. Here is the surround that's angled towards the couch. Those are the um, Poke Audio Monitor 30 uh, bookshelf speakers I'm using for surround uh, when I'm sitting down here. Uh, I did forgot to mention this upstairs, but I do have a rug down here uh, and another thick rug upstairs as well. Uh, uh, I have tile floors down here and hardwood upstairs, and and it's uh, it, it makes a it makes a difference when you actually have some kind of uh, thick rug covering um, at the reflection points of the speakers. Here we have. The RSL Speed Speedwoofer 10S. These are 10 inch drivers um, sitting on top of some milk crate, and between I have some foam there, thick foam as well to observe uh, some vibration. These are uh, ported box subs, but they're pretty compact. Um, I've got their, I think they're rated at 350, 350 watts RMS, and peak power I think was like 750, I believe. One there. Another one here, same setup. As you can see, I'm a big fan of dual subs. Um, I'll put the link in the uh, description below uh, for the website for RSL and SVS. Uh, and these are both American companies and the products are fantastic. Their customer service is even better. I have the Xbox 360 on top, uh, also another phone. Uh, right below it as well. This is my uh, Polk Audio Monitor 70 series towers. I had these for a very long time and they did its job and back then it was probably rated top, it was one of their top, top rated speakers um, but you know I still listen to them pretty frequently when I'm down here on the, on the weekends and whatnot. And big ass center channel Polk Audio CS20. This is Samsung 60 inch 4K TV. I forgot the model number, but um, it's down here now since since the upgrade of the KS8500, which I love. That's upstairs. And here is driving everything. Here is the Denon. AVR S910W. Uh, this is rated at the 95 watts, two channel driven. Another power conditioner Panamax MR4300. I tend to think having a power conditioner is pretty important with your equipment, but that's only my opinion. 
Xbox, first generation Xbox. It's still sitting here, it's not even connected, but it's just for antique show, I guess. And PS3, uh, mainly just use it for streaming Spotify, mainly. So that's my small setup. I do. I did have the Paradigm speakers down here, but it's up, it's upstairs in the second floor now. Um, I like the bass coming out of these Polka audios better. And most of you who know, who subscribe to my channel, you know what's behind there, all my well constricted well stuff. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Take care.